Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dave here, bringing you a Black Ops gameplay. Uh, this is my uh, first Black Ops game gameplay, so I'm not going to be talking about the game too much. Um, pretty much, it's going to be talking about my general thoughts about the game uh, so far as a whole, how it's uh, been, uh, problems with it, and uh, so on. So, uh, let's open up, introduce the gameplay kind of first. Uh, it's a domination on WMD. It's a uh, standard domination, but I think they only have like four people, and we have four or five. Um, which kind of results in uh, a little bit slower gameplay, but it's still a pretty good score. And using I'm using the default kill streak, so I thought it was even uh, better for the score. I actually, get my highest kill streak well so far in the game in this. It's a 27 kill streak, um, which is pretty good for not using like uh, chopper gunner or anything like that. I'm just using a uh, UAV care package and attack helicopter, and I. Don't get anything good in my care package. I think I get like two or three counter UAVs. Uh, but, whatever. Uh, so, Black Ops as a whole so far, I just have to say, it's a really good game. Uh, it's really well balanced. It's probably, it's definitely the most well balanced Call of Duty that I've played. Played uh, Call of Duty 4, World at War, and uh, Modern Warfare 2, and then this. I haven't played like Call of Duty 2 or 3 or 1, so I don't really know about those. But, so far, it's really balanced. It's uh, really fun to play. There's not as much frustrating stuff. There is still frustrating stuff, of course. There always will be in like every Call of Duty game. But so far, it's just uh, it's been good. It's been a good time. Uh, if you're still playing Modern Warfare 2, I'd recommend going out and buying this. It's definitely worth the $60. Uh, the campaign is really great. Uh, probably the best uh, campaign I've played out of any first-person shooter or any game for that matter. Should probably Pokemon has the best campaign, <laughs> but besides that, it was this actually a really good campaign. Uh, and then of course there's zombies, which is just everyone's favorite. It's a lot of fun to play, especially in parties. Uh, it's just a really great time. And now let's talk about the multiplayer. Uh, the reason I've held off on doing a commentary so long is because there were some initial problems with the multiplayer. Uh, that have already been fixed, which I'm grateful for Treyarch, like, listening to the community and fixing the problems that they have. Uh, one, for example, is was the matchmaking system. At the beginning, it was impossible to get into a full party. Oh, get a full party into a game. Uh, it just wouldn't happen. You'd have to, like, wait for, like, half an hour, or sometimes even more, to get into a game with a full party. And most of the time, people would just leave and play by themselves because they didn't want to wait. And that was really frustrating, because... Like playing with parties. Uh, I'm glad they added party check, ba party chat back to uh, most game types. The only game type I think it's not in is uh, search and destroy, which does make sense because sense because uh, party chat and search and destroy is kind of cheap. You can just tell them where they are, uh, and it's not really fair. Uh, but besides that, it's uh, uh, party chat. It's fun. I don't like listening to people. In the lobby, everyone just like talks trash and stuff, and it's not fun to listen to. Um, so uh, some of the problems uh, that I've had with the game, basically just uh, the knife and the RC car and the spawn system. Those are pretty much the three problems, which aren't really that big compared to like Modern Warfare 2 problems. Modern Warfare 2 had uh, giant problems with this game. Um, everyone knows about, uh, Marathon Army Commando, Danger Close Noob Tubes, and, uh, the good thing about Treyarch is they're doing something to fix it. One thing, the RC car, which, uh, I don't think I get killed by in this game, I might, but, it seems like those are, like, all my deaths. I get killed by RC cars, knives, and people spawning behind me. But, uh, RC car, it's just three kill streak, and with Hardline, everyone uses it instead of UAV. Which I wouldn't recommend. It's like a guaranteed kill, but uh, which which since it's a guaranteed kill, I think they should raise up to like a, at least a four kill streak instead of a three kill streak because everyone just uses it and it's really really annoying. There's everywhere, all the time. Which you can just use flak jacket to kind of counter it because you don't get killed by him when you have flak jacket on. But besides that, there's not really much you can do about them because shooting them is pretty hard and. This can come out of nowhere and just kill you. Um, I think they should take away your radar when you have them. That could also be another 
a solution. Because if there's no, if they like don't have their radar, what, like then they don't know where everyone is, and you, but they'd have to like actually navigate and try to figure out where they are, without just being told where they are and can just drive there and kill them. But um, now the knife. They've already done a patch to reduce the knife ra range by 25%, which is pretty good. But I think they should. Uh, I don't know the knife. Uh, well, since <laughs> how should I word this? The knife is uh. This kind of overpowered in my opinion. It's uh since it's a one hit kill, like it's an instant kill, one hit kill always. Um it uh beats out anything at close range. Because it's always in a one hit kill. You don't get hit markers with the knife. Um They should make it uh and since all the guns in this game have uh added more recoil, take more bullets to kill, and the knife is still a one hit kill and has a big range on it. That's the lunge is pretty great. Uh, they should do something to reduce it. Uh, personally, I think they should uh, either make it a one, uh, two hit kill from the front and a one or one hit kill from behind. It's kind of like Halo thing, uh, like assassination, which uh, or make the time to knife slower, like slow down the animation because the knife is like too quick. People can just go around corners and just panic knife and instantly you're dead. Which is, uh, really annoying, considering, uh, it's just an instant kill, pretty much. So, uh, the third thing was the spawn system. Uh, Treyarch is asking for people to send in, uh, videos in theater mode of messed up spawns in the game. So you pretty much just hover over the spawns and look and show how bad they are. And then, uh, put on YouTube and send it to them. So you can do that and then like uh, tweet it to him like uh, at JD2020 and at David Vonderhaar, which are two people that are uh, looking into it. Which is a really good thing uh, that they're trying to fix the spawns. Uh, I think they've already had uh, a couple uh, like a, a patch to the spawns, and uh, it's uh, it's just great overall how Treyarch is looking into like everything about the game and trying to make it as good as possible with. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, they kind of like, after the first month, uh, they kind of just abandoned it. They made like a couple patches, which they had to make, like, serious patches, like with the uh, rust lobbies and uh, stuff like that. Patches that if they didn't make, and the javelin glitch, if they didn't make, then the uh, game would uh, just everyone would stop playing it because it would just be way too frustrating. Uh, but hopefully... Uh, this won't happen with Treyarch, and they'll just keep uh, patching stuff to make it a good game as possible. Uh, which it looks like they will be doing. They're already looking to gun, to gun patches to make, uh, like they're looking into the AK-74U and the G-11, because those are two of the best guns, and they're trying to make it. So the guns are balanced, and uh, which personally I think is a good idea, because uh, with the AK-74U, I think they need to do something about it. It's not like it's overpowered, it's just it out-trumps all the other SMGs, and they need to make it either make it a little bit worse or make the, all the other SMGs a little bit better to kind of make them compete with each other and not make the uh, AK-74U the only one that's used. Just kind of knowing that A1 guns are overused like the UMP was in Modern Warfare 2. And the UMP was probably a little bit overpowered. Not that the AK-74U isn't. Or the AK-74U I don't think is overpowered. The reason the UMP was overpowered is because it didn't lose damage over range. It barely lost any and you could like two-shot people across the map with it. Which is uh really cheap. But besides that, uh, hope you enjoyed. Please remember to uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.